I'm Leona and I've been sporting my new Rihanna inspired wig here by Shake and Go. It's red on one side and black on the other. Take a look there. Okay, and I'll give you a little spin so you can see. Okay, so there's a whole video of me putting on this wig, styling it, kind of what it looked like through the process and things like that. So make sure you check that out. And if you haven't done so already, take a look up there and press the subscribe button so you can follow me and be notified when new videos are released. So today I want to give a new try to my blonde. This is my little blonde bottom bombshell wig which I really like. It doesn't look like much, but when I have her on, it really changes the mood and attitude. I like to wear her when I go out to dinner, out to parties, things like that. Um, so I do want to give it a try and get your opinion on what you guys think about this wig. So I'm going to go ahead and take off my beautiful red Rihanna Spa inspired wig here. So I like to just lift up, make sure I don't catch my, my, uh, wig cap here. Slide that on back down here. There we go. Okay. Have my wig cap back on. And I'm going to go ahead now. This is a um, Vanessa by uh, Fifth Avenue wig. So I'm sure you can check it out on their website. You know, look at um, you know the specs and kind of the colors and I think you get to pick out the color that you want you don't have to pick this specific color so but you can get an idea of the wig itself so I'm going to go ahead and put this cap on stretch it over my head here remember that I have long hair okay so this is going over top of my long hair uh, which I have all bundled up wrapped up good in my wig cap now Okay, so let me just make some adjustments. I, obviously, I have to get this one right. I mean, this is blonde hair. My hair is jet black in the back. So if it's not covered right and doesn't look like it's coming out of my scalp, everybody's going to know, right? Okay. So let me get my comb here. Where's my comb? i got to find a comb. Okay. i got a comb. Got me a little bit of wig spray here. Today, I'm going to go ahead and use uh, Via Oil Free Wig Shine. It's new. Um, it's a new product for me, at least. So, I'm going to use this. I'm going to start right here. Give a couple of sprays, especially closer into these bangs. So, I can get those swooped right. There we go. And then, I like to uh, pull down. There we go. Get this hair swooped here. Let me see. I like to do feathering. Okay, I like to feather. So you'll see. Usually when I do bangs, I just find that to be natural. Okay. Now I've got black hair here, so I have to make sure I'm properly covered and adjusted. There's two little uh, metal pieces in the side here. You can kind of help them to be guided over top of your own hair and kind of guide it inwards, which I've gone ahead and done. Now, this has the hair that kind of just gets lifted up there and feathered in with my finger to style. It's really not this big um, to do, which I like it. It's, it's a nice... Um, easy style. The back is where it's all fringed here and I like to just take my fingers and lift up on it there. 
give it some life back there. I'm making sure I keep my neck covered there. There we go. Now this side here, it has some nice chunks and it looks really cute when it blends in with the shag cut there. And then it's got these little pieces. Now this one here, I believe that goes there. There we go. Okay. And then these little hairs. I usually like to blend them because my hairline comes out um, pretty far. So in order to make sure I'm fully covered, I, I usually just blend those in like that. Okay. Now, once I'm all done here, which I think I am, looking pretty cute. I could go out. Too bad, because I'm a mommy. I'll be home tonight with kitties and husband. Okay. So, there it is. I think this one here makes it just a little adjustment. Just like that. Just make sure my black hairs on this side are covered. Yeah, much better. Okay. Now, of course, you can use a little spray to hold everything in place there. Okay. Um, I prefer to use a spray that is light that can be easily brushed out. Okay. So that's going to be uh, the Pro Touch. Okay. Pro Touch holding spray. Uh, it is very light and you can just spray that on. It's water soluble which is probably the bigger reason why I like it. I don't have to put a whole bunch of shampoo and conditioner in order to break this up. A small wet comb will help to break up the hairspray so that I can make styling adjustments. Uh, it's strong enough to hold you know, the hair. You can easily brush through it, wet it down with a water bottle a couple times you know, to make styling adjustments when you want to okay and then of course after a while yes you want to wash it so again this is an um a vanessa by fifth avenue it's blonde and it's got highlights and lowlights we'll give you a good look at that okay it swoops down in the front which i really love wigs that do that okay it's got little jaggy edges around and then the back you can take a look at what that looks like Okay, there we go. And then the other side is kind of a little longer because the swoop comes down and then goes around back. So let me know what you think about this wig. I really like it. It's got blends of all different colors. See this color here is a darker color. That's not my hair, honey. That is the wig. It has different colors of highlights and lowlights and blondes and light browns. And uh, but it's great for summer. I know. Yeah, you know, today tomorrow is Labor Day, so um, you know it's a great color to to wear for tomorrow to maybe a cookout or something like that. But definitely know me. Let me know what your thoughts are on this wig. Uh, don't forget to subscribe. Okay, um, I want to be able to let you know when new videos come out and uh, give me your feedback. Okay, thanks.